I have, she doesn't have children, I have children, and I'm, I'm thinking, oh, my God, now I have to worry about what's in my neighbor's storage shed, and is there legal policy addressing that? I never even thought about something like that. So that, that's my question. Is there legal policy addressing the storage of, and I don't own a gun. I'm sure she doesn't either, so I know nothing about that. Well, well Barbara, as a, as a parent myself, I, I surely would be concerned about a neighbor with a, uh, a uh, warehouse or a storage shed full of ammunition and guns. My goodness, I, you know, if, if kids happen to get over there in the yard and start playing with the guns, if something happened and it exploded and my and children were, were nearby, I mean, it would be horrific. Um, so I, I understand your pain as, as far as legally doing something. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure because everybody has a fundamental right to, to their property, uh, due process rights and, and, and whatnot. Um, Ryan, if you can add anything to that, do you, do you feel there's something that she can do potentially? Well, I mean, and this is, you know, speculative, but it would depend on, you know, what it actually was contained in the, in, the, in the warehouse. There are many types of firearms and ammunition that are uh, illegal, both federally and, and at the state level. So there, there may be some potential criminal consequences with, you know, maybe a, those. maybe a complaint because there may be some type of code that a code enforcement officer would want to investigate. And certainly city and county codes would apply here to, to storage of ammunition.